In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a pitch raise with piano meter. Here we have a piano that hasn't been tuned in many years. This piano is 60 to 100 cents flat, clearly in the range where a pitch raise is necessary. Let's start the pitch raise function. Menu, pitch raise. The first step is to select the piano type. This affects the overpull profile, how far we overshoot the pitch. Next, select the lowest unwound string. That's an F3 on this piano. Next, we select the highest string in the midsection, the one just to the left of the strut. That's an F-sharp. This also affects the overpull. Finally, we select sample notes to use for pre-measurements. I like to divide the octave in half with A's and D-sharps. The reason we don't sample every note is because if we were doing that and the piano were more than about 60 cents flat, piano meter would detect the wrong notes. For example, it would detect G-sharp instead of A. This way, even if A is 150 cents flat, it will still detect it as an A. Use the dots on the graph at the bottom of the screen to make sure you're getting good readings. If something messes up one of the dots, measure that note again until it stabilizes. It's not actually necessary to measure all the notes. If you skip some, piano meter will extrapolate. When you're satisfied, click the Start Pitch Raise button. This puts piano meter into pitch raise mode. A couple of things to notice. At the bottom of the screen, you now have a green line above the tuning curve. This represents the overpull target. On the tuning display, you can see that the dial has been rotated so that when the needle is vertical, it's pointing at the overpull target instead of zero cents. The spinning strobes will also stand still at the pitch raise target instead of at zero. You're welcome to tune in any order you like, but piano meter is designed to start at the tenor break and tune up through the treble, then tune the bass last. I prefer to use two mutes in a leapfrog pattern, since that requires only one mute movement per note, but you're welcome to use whatever mute pattern you like. If you use a strip mute, I recommend tuning unisons as you go, instead of tuning all of the center strings first. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
the pitch trays, click Exit Pitch Trays, and then lock the tuning curve for the fine tuning. Thank you for watching this video.